There are three different privacy settings you can use when posting videos to YouTube. Private, unlisted, and public. I'll show you how to do each and what's the difference. So when posting your videos to YouTube, you'll need to choose if you're posting it publicly, privately, or as an unlisted video. If you're posting publicly, obviously it's possible for anybody to discover your video on YouTube. If you're posting privately, however, you will need to tell YouTube which specific people are allowed to view that specific video. And unlisted videos are less restrictive than private videos, but they are not public either. You can't just Google um, and to search for your video. It won't come up in a Google search. However, if you've shared an unlisted video with a friend and you provided them with the link to your video, that friend could share with another friend and another friend and another friend and everybody could watch it as long as they had the link. That's different than a private video. A private video is very specific to only the people that you have um, specified are allowed to view it. If you um, give Jane a link to a private video, she'll be able to view it. But if she forwards it to John, he will not be able to view it unless you have named John as having permission to view it. So that's the difference between private videos and unlisted videos. I'll show you how to do them each right now. So once you are inside YouTube Studio, come down to the left and go to your videos page and beside the description of your video thumbnail you'll see the category of visibility showing this one is already marked as private you're going to need to specify who can have permission to view you'll need to come and uh, click on that specific video I'm trying to move my mouse there or hover when once you hover over it the edit button will appear. You'll click on that. Once you are looking at the details page for one specific video, then you will notice over here beside the save button there are three little dots. This is the only time you're going to see those three little dots. I'll click on it and you'll see the option now share privately. That's what you'll need in order to access this window. I'll click on it where you will now be able to add the specific email address of the specific person or people that you're giving permission to view this one video. Um, not all of your private videos, just that one. So we'll get rid of the screen because I want to show you down here um, it very clearly already says that this is a private video and it is. If no one has been listed in that um, email window that we were just looking at, no one can view it but you. Now it used to be that by clicking right here where it already says visibility and names your choice you've made, it used to be when you click on here, uh, on here it would give you a drop down menu where you could go ahead and add the names of the people but that's not the case any longer. It would take you a while maybe to find it. It's these three little dots. That's how you do it. Now, if you want to do an unlisted video, it's as simple as clicking down here to change it or back on your videos tab. So if you're on YouTube Studio and you're in the videos uh, list section, you can see automatically the category that you've already chosen. This is a private video. Um, and you can toggle back and forth between private for your eyes only, in other words, or unlisted. Um, someone could pass it, people could pass it around if they wanted, or public, completely available to anybody. Now, from your channel's home page, you can see there is no private video listed here. The one about the pine cone bird feeder is not in this list because it is a private video. It simply won't show up unless you are in your own 
channel's YouTube studio, it will not appear on the page, which is exactly the way it should be. And that is how to make your decision on whether to post your video publicly, privately, or as an unlisted video that can be shared.